Hi, I'm Dr. Tina Tan, State Epidemiologist for the New Jersey Department of Health. Even if you do not feel sick, travelers returning to New Jersey from an area with mosquito-borne disease should take steps back home to prevent the spread of disease. Before travel, visit the CDC website for travel notices and maps. After travel, track time and symptoms if you visited an area with Zika, chikungunya, dengue, malaria, yellow fever, or any other mosquito-borne disease. All travelers should avoid mosquito bites back home for three weeks after travel. This helps reduce the spread of disease to local mosquitoes, which may infect other people. Empty or change standing water weekly to prevent mosquito breeding. Use windows and door screens, wear long sleeve shirts and pants, and apply EPA registered insect repellent to prevent mosquito bites. If you develop any symptoms of disease after travel, such as rash, fever, headache, red eyes, muscle pain, or joint pain, call a healthcare provider right away and mention where you traveled. Get rest, drink water to stay hydrated, and follow your healthcare provider's treatment recommendations. Zika infection during pregnancy can cause birth defects, and Zika can be passed through unprotected sex, even if the infected person does not have symptoms. Use condoms correctly, and do not share sex toys to reduce the chance of giving Zika to your partner through unprotected sex. If your partner is pregnant, use condoms correctly during sex or do not have sex for the entire pregnancy. It is also crucial to delay pregnancy if you visited an area with Zika. Men should wait at least six months after travel and women should wait at least eight weeks after travel before trying to become pregnant. Discuss all reproductive plans and risk of Zika with a healthcare provider. For the most up-to-date information and resources, visit the New Jersey Department of Health website or the CDC website. Also, please follow us on Twitter and Facebook to stay informed. Thank you.